गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल इन इंग्लिश क्लास टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर द स्टोरी ऑफ क्रिकेट इट्स लेसन नंबर टेन ऑफ या हनी कोम बुक इट हैज बीन रिटन बाय द राइटर रामचंद्र गुहा क्रिकेट बाय दिस वर्ड आई थिंक यू ऑल आर वेरी एक्साइटेड एज इट इज इंडियंस फेवरेट गेम वी ऑल लाइक टू प्ले क्रिकेट एंड वी ऑल्सो लाइक टू सिट एंड वॉच this game on television and it's really nice time when we all family members sitting together and watching this game on television isn't it so let's enjoy reading this chapter it's all about the history and origin of the cricket but before that let's have a small introduction introduction of the writer ramchandra guha who was born on 29th april 1958 He is an Indian writer whose research interests include environmental, social economics, political, contemporary, and cricket history. He is also a columnist for the Telegraph, Hindustan Times, and Hindi daily newspaper Amar Ujala. He is a regular contributor to various academic journals. Guha has also written for the Karwa and Outlook magazines. Mr. Ramchandra Guha has. written many books include a pioneering work of environmental history the unique words which was published in 1989 an award winning social history of sports a corner of foreign of a foreign field which was published in 2002 and a widely acclaimed and best selling work of contemporary history india after gandhi was published in 2007 the first volume of his landmark biography of gandhi gandhi before india was published in 2013 ramchandra guha has received many award among them the rk narayan prize the sahitya academy award and the ramnath goenka prize and the fuko ka prize in 2014 he was awarded an honorary doctorate in the humanities by yale university so student now let's enjoy reading I the chapter it. cricket is one of the form of the many games played with the ball and bat in england from past 500 years let's know about the history when it was first played and when from where it was started it was started before 500 years ago in england there were many game played using bat and ball it evolved a distinct game around 17th century Initially during the mid of the 18th century the bat used to be like the hockey stick curving outwards you can see there in the picture the bat was curved outward okay like a hockey stick there was a simple reason for this the ball was bowled under arm so uh, uh, the ball was bowled under arm along the ground and the curve at the end of the bat gave the batsman the best chance for making contacts and it becomes very easy to gain to gain the score the test match played in cricket are the only format of any game that is played for 5 days and can still be and in a draw Another interesting aspect of cricket is that the length of the pitch is 222 yards but the size of the ground remains unspecified it was not cleared there are oval as well as circular cricket ground most other team sports such as hockey and uh, football lay down the dimension of playing area but cricket does not their area dimension area is very clear but cricket does not ground can be oval like the adelaide oval or nearly circular like chipok in chennai now let's know about the rules a of cricket rules about cricket were first written around 1744 
it was decided that the empires has only the right to resolve any dispute among the players it is specified the stem to be 22 inches high and the bail across them to be 6 inches and the ball weigh about 5 or 6 ounces and the distance between the two set of stems was 22 yards i think you all know these rules isn't it those who play the game they all know it very well the first cricket club came into existence in hambledon in 1760s the first leg before law was published in 1744 and it was around the same time that the third stump became popular by 1780 the matches were played for around 3 days and the first six game ball was also created in the same time the merrily the merrily lebon cricket club mcc was founded in 1787 it was all about the law now let's know about the equipment which are very necessary for the protection of our players so how it is all made up of the most important equipment associated with cricket continues to be handmade still today it's all pre-industrial material it can never be industrial materials it is still today pre industrial material they are made up of natural and pre industrial materials the bats are handmade of cork leather and twine only the protective equipment like the pads gloves and helmets uh, they are uh, they are consisting synthetic material like vulcanized rubber etc are used there Cricket was first played in India in Bombay by the Zoroastrian or Parsi community. The Parsi were was the first community who brought the game in India because they were in the close contact of the foreigners and they play game with them because they were having contact with them for the trade. The Oriental Cl- Cricket Club was founded in Bombay in 1848 was the first Indian cricket club. The Parsi had to open build their own gym khana following a quarrel with the whites for the Bombay gym khana. So Parsi gym khana and Bombay gym khana they both have quarrel because of having rights on the playground. So in 1889 the Bombay Jim Khana team was defeated by the Parsi team. Now how is the modern cricket now and how it became very popular it is just because of use of technology. Modern cricket is dominated by test and one day internationals format. some of the great players whom we all fondly remember are the ones who have played in the test cricket ck naidu ck naidu is one of such great player he was also the first test captain of india india became a test playing nation in 1932 many years before it got its independence Test cricket initially was played among various parts of the British Empire and not between sovereign states. The first test was played between England and Australia. Television coverage has brought cricket to every household. With the satellite television it is now possible to catch live updates of match played anywhere across the world. we can even see the match sitting in our home and it is just because it is just possible because of our satellite television india has the largest viewership of the game and is the largest market for cricket 150 years ago our parsi and sister had to struggle to play the game but today indian cricket players are the best paid and the most famous in the world 
how it is because of technology and the platform which they get is the best platform for them because they are at the place where the world the whole world can see them so indian cricket players are the best paid and the most famous person in the world so this is all the important point which we have discussed about the chapter in this video now for more details you all read the chapter very well and if you have any doubt you can make contact to me so have a nice day take care all of you bye everyone